Hello and welcome to my unboxing. After a long time, I got a chance to do the unboxing. And this is something special. So this is uh, Jack's Fat Paris. This is a French brand, of course. Uh, this is uh, Evelo Bois. Please, if I'm butchering the name, forgive me, French people. So this is Fat Essential. This is a perfume concentration, 3.33 or means 100 ml. It's a vaporizer, natural spray. So this is a natural perfume maker. As you can see, the uh, name is written Jack Fats Perfume. Uh, perfumes are from 1946. So if you go to the, their website, you will be able to say, I really like the logo. This, is, this reminds me of the Clive Christian. I don't know why. Maybe they're too close. Maybe. <laughs> so let's open it. The seal is here. I feel really bad opening the seals. So this is uh, what Evelo Bois Jack's fat. So this is for men, women, both. I feel <laughs> really bad opening from the front. Okay, I'll open from here. This is really well packed. So what kind of perfume it is? By the way, this is the best seller of their brand. I don't know if Jack's Fat have something else which they sell, but I have seen they only um, sell the perfumes. So they are purely perfume brand. I prefer purely perfume brand because uh, they can concentrate in only one. When you have too many things, uh, then it becomes quite generic. That's completely my opinion. You don't have to agree on that. There are, yes, there are many more brands who are doing so many other things than the perfume as well, but they're still so good. Very common, one of the brand name I can name you right now is one of my favorite is Galan. Yeah, they have the makeup and they have skincare and so many things so but still they make the best and they're the oldest one for in perfumery so there you go the plastic so i'm actually officially opening in front of you i haven't seen it before i don't know anything about it but i did uh, went through the notes and it seems like it's a woody perfume uh, woody warm perfume so far woody warm perfumes I usually wear in the winters uh, so in the top note it has the bergamot Devana what is Devana I don't know <laughs> what is Devana Devana made spices cloves cloves elemi and nutmeg in the heart note it has the immortel whiskey co carrot seeds patchouli base notes new colandinia sandalwood and then armenian wood and gayak wood and ambroxan so um so far fancy names let's open it actually fragrance notes are quite simple to me because you know the main thing is how does it smell that's the main thing what what are in it comes later because there are so many people that don't smell everything like me so here you go the grand ah. oh that is wow it reminds me of whiskey bottle no wonder <laughs> the bottle is beautiful yes Evlo 
blah. It's a natural spray made in France. Let's spray. Presentation is nice, very nice, heavy, magnetic cap. I have tried so many perfumes today. Ooh, that's a heavy, heavy, heavy duty. Okay, okay, this is a very much woody perfume. <laughs> very near to Aris Lidori. Seriously, it smells like so much like Aris Lidori. Seriously, um, I have smelled it before Aris Lidori. Um, I don't remember which one, but I did. But it's nothing like, it's more in the, a bit in the sweeter side. It's warm, it's aromatic, it's not strong, it's very, uh, very subtle. The smell is very subtle. When it was first sprayed, I found a little bit of something like lime kind of, a bit splash, but immediately it was gone. I might be wrong, but later on it just settled down with a lot of wood. And I'm not very good at wood. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very good at wood. Oud is definitely, oud, O-U-D, oud. Oud is definitely not my favorite because I my nose can't tolerate oud for too long. This is not oud. It has a lot of spices. It reminds me a lot of spice. And I don't know why. It reminds me of Turkish Spice Bazaar a lot. But it's very subtle. Very, very subtle. The patchouli takes over the whiskey. Uh, it just gives you a splash. When you spray it first, it gives you a splash. It's a very good perfume for men. I won't recommend it for women because this is something you would love to smell from your man, <laughs> not from the woman. So yeah, that that's it. That's it. And it's an amazing, it can be an amazing perfume, a signature perfume for the man. I like it, but not on me, on uh, men, I would say. Um, so currently I do not have a boyfriend so <laughs> definitely if I had a boyfriend I would have passed on to him by now so yeah that's it from my side uh, this is more like I do get oh I'm getting a little bit of yeah it has a quite prominent smell of sandalwood if you like sandalwood probably you'll like it so this is more into the woody side, wood, woody, uh, very primary woody kind of smell. And uh, I think it's perfect for winter. This is not for summer or spring. This is more like, uh, you know, it reminds of what? It reminds of black suit, uh, very gorgeous gown, you know, big limo that kind of gorgeous kind of thing. Yeah, that kind of smell. This smell reminds me of a very gorgeous event. That, that's what it reminds me of. So yeah, that's it from my side. I hope you enjoyed my first impression. This was not uh, a review. This was a first impression. I haven't uh, seen this. Uh, this is a very uncommon perfume brand for me because I have never sniffed any of their perfume before uh, but I did heard some good stuff especially I have heard about it first time from actually um, Brooklyn Fra Fragrance Lover he made a video probably nine years back and nine years or six years back I might be wrong 
I have seen uh, he was actually uh, reviewing the green water. I think green water is the most sold uh, bottle of Jack's Fart. So uh, he was showing at that time and I actually thought like th th this is a French brand and we do not get to buy French brand much uh, in the from USA. That's why that's that that was the problem here. So um, I didn't actually put too much attention on that. But all of a sudden a few days back there was a fragrance event in France and one of my very a dear brother went there and I thought like why don't I grab one and the price is of a very um, amazingly reasonable you can grab a bottle with only I think he said it was I, I don't remember how much euro he said but it was only uh, not much it was probably uh, hundred and ten dollars something like that so a hundred ml you're get, getting it for a hundred and ten dollars that that that's a hell cheaper seriously it's a hell cheaper kind of boutique perfume and uh, this very subtle very sophisticated smell um, because you will spend a lot for a crate perfume so these kind of high quality perfume from France you're getting it for only hundred and ten dollars I think that's like a dream and France have so many domestically they have so many uh, boutique perfume brands uh, we do not even know about them because uh, for our country it's way too luxury item people can't even afford to buy them I mean very few people can buy it but uh, not too many and these are actually quite luxury brand because people doesn't know much about it. Anyways, uh, it's a good perfume. P uh, guys will be enjoying it a lot. And for me, I would say I would enjoy it on a man more than me. So, yeah. That doesn't mean I don't like it. I do like it. So, yeah, that's it from my side. If you have any question, any more question about just for Evolo Boa. I hope I'm not butchering the name. Uh, please comment. Please like my video. And please give a thumbs up. And if you're new, subscribe. I'll come back with more. Thank you.